let's go ahead and save. We'll go ahead and publish now. Let's publish to HTML first. All right, now while we're publishing, I see there's a question in the chat box. Is there a benefit of using an embedded object versus a linked object? The difference is really in who is uh, maintaining your graphics for you. If you've got a setup in your company where you have multiple departments that are all reusing graphics, let's say that your logos are maintained by the marketing department, uh, perhaps some of your more technical screenshots are maintained by your development department, and then you have your own set of screenshots as well. And you're saving all of those graphics in a network share location that everyone in the company has access to, or at least the people that need access have access to those graphics. In that case, you would likely want to go with a linking strategy because if marketing decides they want to replace their logos, then AuthorIt will always grab the latest copy of that logo when it goes to publish your document, assuming that the file name is exactly the same. Same thing with your development department. If development is updating graphics such as Visio diagrams, uh, technical screenshots, and so on, you will always be sure to grab the latest copy of that file because you are linking to it uh, from a location that development is maintaining. Now, if you go the route of embedding, you'd have to remember to always be on the lookout for updated versions of those graphics and then uh, insert the latest version of the graphic into your database and that may become an issue for you over time. Now however if you are the sole owners of your graphics they, they maybe come from another department or you create them yourself but you are ultimately responsible for those graphics and it's only the users of AuthorIt who plan on using those graphics then you can go ahead and embed them inside of the library because you don't have to worry about them being located out on a network location where people may inadvertently delete them or change their file name or something along those lines. They are safely tucked inside of the AuthorIt database. Let's go ahead and publish this to print as well. All right, so two different ways to do it. It really depends on who's responsible for maintaining those graphics in the long run and uh, you know whether you have network issues. Do you have problems where people go into your, your shared folders and move files around or change file names or so on? That may be a concern for you and you may want to go ahead and embed your graphics instead. But as far as uh, performance goes, there's no difference really between linking or embedding. The, the end result of the publishing process is exactly the same, so you don't really have to worry about any issues there. All right, so let's take a look at our HTML publication first. All right, let's click over to our topic. Now the first type of link we created was a topic to topic link so we'll go ahead and click that. Notice we've got our alt tag that gives you the name of that topic. Alright and that's our topic to topic link that takes you to the topic that we created the hyperlink to. Let's go back there. Alright now this is our URL link. Also notice our alt tag there. When I click that link, it will take me to the author at website. Let's go back. And if I click email Kendra Carter, it will open up a new email, which will unfortunately start a long chain of events where my Outlook will 
wheeze its way open and hopefully not take too long. Okay, not bad. Notice how it's automat automatically inserted the, the uh, email address in the two box there. All right, so a couple different ways to work with your hyperlink objects depending on what you want your results to be.